Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you're doing well today. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna do some QB core stuff today. Hopefully some QB core stuff today. See how it goes though. All right. Just getting everything set up. Good morning. Happy, I think it's, is it Thursday? I think it's Thursday now. I think it's Thursday. All right. Let me know if you can hear me in chat. Make sure everything's working properly. It was not working yesterday, but I hope I got it all working today. So please let me know if it's working today. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, chat people? Hopefully you can hear me today. I hope I didn't mess this up too badly. Yes, awesome, you can hear me. That's a better start than I had yesterday. All right, we're gonna do QB core today. We're gonna install it from the beginning using TX admin. And then we're gonna take a look at resources that you wanna link me. We will be live till 10 a.m. Pacific, two hours-ish, probably. I can go a little longer if we keep getting requests, but we're going to try to start with installing and getting through stuff. Please let me know if the music is too loud, too little, whatever it is, I will adjust it. But I can't tell from my end. I think I have adjusted at a point where it makes sense, but I may be wrong. All right. I didn't do this right already. All right, throw this in the server folder. There we go. We're gonna start up our FX server. Let's see how this goes today. Let's see how this goes. I've not used TX Admin in a while, but hopefully it works out pretty well. I'm gonna need Keymaster, aren't I? Um, you gonna show my password? Huh. Good. All right. So how's everybody in chat doing today? You all doing well? I'm doing all right. It's been a long morning. Um, yeah. Okay, I need to go to Keymaster. Everything's good. That is very good to hear. This will be the last stream until December. I am going out of town, and I will be out of town most of December as well, but I will be in town a couple of days where I can um, at least post videos and do one or two streams. All right, server key's in there. Let's hope I don't leak it, because that would be unfortunate. So we're gonna set up our database information by going to PHP My Admin. We're gonna add a new user account. Our username is gonna be QB Core. Password is gonna be stupid, but it's gonna be password. And we're gonna create a database called QB Core. Perfect. So then we're just gonna switch our database username to QB Core. Database password, password, database name, QB Core. Just like that, run recipe. There you go. That's as simple as it is to really install QB Core. Quite simple indeed. Taking a little break. Yeah, I'm going to LA for Thanksgiving break, and then I'm going down to LA for week before finals break, and then I'm going to LA for Christmas break. Um, and then I come straight back up to school, and I have a week full of classes for eight hours a day, 
um and then i get back to my normal schedule i'm going to try to schedule as many videos as i can throughout those periods of um break times i don't know how that's gonna go um we'll see how many videos i can actually get out for that time but my hope is i can at least have one video a week um until i get back so we'll see how it goes this shouldn't take that long it should be pretty quick to install this we'll see in our database we can just go ahead and click tb core wherever you are all my recreations in here tb core so you can see everything's already imported for the mysql tables which is awesome don't even have to do it manually very easy 80 percent installed already While this finishes is up, I'm gonna grab a quick drink. I'll be right back. All right, I got some drinks. A nice Powerade drink in the morning. All right, we're done, yay. So we have our resources folder. We got everything we could use in here, QB Core, everything installed there. Let's go ahead and get into the default server. Please don't leak anything. I don't see anything leak here specifically. I'm just gonna save and run server. I'll just make sure it all starts up correctly. See how it goes. Yo, yo. Hello, welcome to the stream. Good day to everybody. It is a good day. We're going to be looking at QB core today, which I promised I would do yesterday. So we're doing it today. Doing it today. QB core. All right. Come on server. You're almost started. We're going to take a look first at all of the default stuff. Um, and then we are going to take a look at um, any add-ons that people in chat want me to take a look at. All right, I think it started up, right? Yeah, it did. All right. Let's go in game. See how this goes. It's been a while since I've even touched QB Corp, but. We're going to try it out today. So how's everybody in chat doing? Doing anything fun today? I need to restart again. You guys have work or classes or what's going on? I have classes, but due to a strike, all my teachers aren't teaching. So until I get the stream this morning, work and not really fun, but it pays bills and makes what I have. Yeah, you know what? Work is a good thing. I wish I could do less work, but unfortunately, it is the way life goes, especially when you're in California and things cost a fortune. This is how it works. All right. So you have like a built-in loading screen with all the key bindings and stuff, which is awesome because I have no idea what QB Core even does. So you have talk over radio, open inventory, toggle seatbelt, open phone. If we could only get paid to game, I would sign up. Me too. <laughs> that would be awesome. I think YouTube would be probably the closest to that you can possibly get. But, you know, there's probably game tester positions somewhere, but it's only for probably one game. All right, we're almost in at least 87%. It's 
economy on steroids one from esx to this when it first came out cool i remember doing a video on this a while ago but um i don't I, it's been a long while i'm gonna let everything load in it's gonna take a minute probably hey do you know why the thing when i load up my 5m every time the cpu gets stuck it's not my computer because every time it's like that 100 when i look at it my task manager is in the 30s and 40s oh thanks 5m for crashing um well i mean there could be so many different reasons why a cpu is frozen i mean if it's always at a hundred percent like where does it say it's at a hundred percent does it say it's a hundred percent in task manager because you can see if i open up task manager i hope that doesn't kill the stream but if i open up task manager and go to performance why did it just i don't want just cpu um some stuff is gonna obviously max out like the uh ssd that i'm recording this stream to and my gpu because i'm recording but it depends on your stuff because some some of them some of them for sure will 100 percent max out like my gpu is gonna max out right now so you just gotta kind of take a look at what your system is because you're going to expect some stuff to max out in 5m you can open your fa and go to performance yeah so what uh, what processor do you have because it's possible it's actually just maxing out how can i dono to you there if you want to dono there's super chats um built into youtube all right, let's create a character. We're gonna be same as my last streams. Noodles, Hamilton. Oh, there's a long list. This is something I wish they would just update because it's ridiculous to find in these lists because the thing is so long. Where would you like to start? Where's the best place to start? Whoever's good at Kiwi Core, where should I start? You have an i7-6900? The towers, okay. Okay, with an i7, is it a K processor or is it a non-K? You're probably going to be close to maxing it out, though, if you have graphic packs and stuff running With me here, never be yeah so qb core the install we just did the install in less than 13 minutes um so it's it's easy to install obviously um and it has a bunch of resources if i remember correctly built in so you have like a bunch of areas built in already by default and it's i it should be pretty easy to install other stuff so you have like an inventory system which is interesting you have like a phone and tablet and stuff i think the phone is m yes it is so there's a qb core phone so you can like text other players you have settings menu you have twitter let's create a tweet hi youtube no we had character creation i just skipped it you have like a Twitter for your characters, convention other players. You got vehicle garages, mail. It's a nice kind of import thing. Pretty cool. Uh, you have 32 gigs of RAM. You may just be maxing out your CPU. It's very possible that your CPU is just maxed out. Do you have like graphics packs running or something? What's your resolution? Like, it, there's a lot of stuff it depends on. All right, so I think there's food and stuff in the bottom left-hand corner. So 
Okay, you can't just steal cars off the street. How do I get a car, Zayden? I've been trying to grow my channel so I can do what you do. Yeah, just keep keep working on it. Um, just keep making videos. That's how we grew over time. Slash car. Ah. Yeah, I loaded it up. I don't have no graphics pack, none of that. Do you? If you load up default GTA 5, not 5M, do you do you spawn in with no CPU max out? Is there Slack admin? Oh, I see. Oh, that's useful. It's such a small menu, though. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Okay, so... What a weird car. Is this a default car in GTA? This does not look like a default car. Whatever. So you have the custom HUD at the top, which is pretty cool. You feeling more stressed. How do you feel stressed? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So you have like direction, you have the avenues, you have the mile per hour in the bottom left, you got your food icons. So I would assume we need to go get food or we'll die. So I'll go over to go up the thing. Is there custom handling in here? Because these cars do not feel normal. HUD settings will allow you to change your HUD settings. Cool. And I'm guessing K is seatbelt. That was not seatbelt. That was seatbelt on somebody else's server. No custom handling. My food's full. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, check default GTA because if your default GTA is also spiking in your CPU, be seatbelt. Thank you. Um, if your default GTA is also spiking in your CPU, it would just be that the game's just going to spike it. Yeah, nothing to do. Okay, so if the circle is full, then it's... How do I get out of my car? Do I have to take off my seatbelt? I do. If you go fast, you can still fly out the window. Got it. So can I just buy stuff from this guy? E shop. I can. Do I have money? I hope I have money. Let's buy. Can I just drag it? Oh, I can just drag it. No, I can't. What do I buy? Oh, right click. Oh, I just bought a lot. <laughs> right, I just I just buy some. Okay, thank you. You can use give money ID amount. Thank you. Player's not online. What is my ID? <laughs> Can I tell that in Slack admin? Player management. I'm ID2. Okay. Give money. ID2. Bank. 10,000. Okay, cool. It's slash ID. So, okay. So this is kind of, it's a cool resource. I give you that. Oh, your ID just pops up on the right hand side. Oh, that's awesome. Give item ID to one. You said one. What did that give? Item one does not exist. It's a cool thing, though. All right, I want to try to get ejected from the car. Items are by name. Ah. Uh. Well, I didn't get ejected if I did that. Sandwich, for example. Okay. I didn't get ejected that time, and I don't have a seatbelt on. So is your stress level and stuff based on what you're doing in the game, I would assume? There we go. I got ejected. Oh my god, I landed in the bed of my truck. That's awesome. Okay, it is. How do I get up? Can I slash revive? I can. 
Well, that's pretty cool. So I can use a bottle of water. Do I click on it and click use? Or do I drag it to use? I drag it to use. I see. Oh, that's cool. So it is like a... I'm going to do slash HUD setting, but... Uh, that didn't do anything. Um, it is cool, though. I do like it. It's It seems to have most stuff you need. Can I get myself again? Give item. Item to gun. That doesn't... Okay, I guess he's the admin menu. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. So you have god mode, spawn weapons. There we go. Give me a weapon. So if I do use, how do I use a gun? Can I? Oh, I don't have ammo, do I? I need ammo. Got it. How do I spawn? <laughs> Then push the number. Drag it to your num uh, number slot. So I should use give weapon. Is it give weapon like name? Or give item. Okay. I give give item ammo. Oh, I have to do ID. I didn't have, what did I, did I spell that wrong? That doesn't look right to me. I may be spelling this wrong. Maybe it is, but I don't know. Yep, there we go. I'll give myself 500. Okay, so then I drag it to my number slots. Oh, up here, like this? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Drag it to slot one and press one. Oh, so these are your slots, so it would be press four. Oh, I see. I don't have ammo. How do I reload? Oh, drag ammo on five. Then press five to reload. Oh, wow. That's a interesting way of doing it. That is for sure. Interesting. Okay. So it really takes you a lot of time to do anything is what I'm kind of learning here. It's like it, it takes a good. So it's more realistic because you wouldn't be able to just pull out a bunch of ammo. If you didn't have it. So now that I have ammo, I can rob someone, right? So I could take their car. Yeah, okay. So if I kill them, hi person in the car, you're in my hostage now. I can take their car. Interesting. Good to know. So what else could I explore just from the base uh, install before we install some add-ons? Is there anything else you want me to take a look at? Okay, you could point the gun at them. Oh, jobs. Where's the job? Is there a job somewhere down here by the port? I would assume there is. Set job ID police for job center. Where's the job center? Oh, I was, I was reading chat and I just ran over all the pedestrians. <laughs> it's on the map downtown. Oh, boy. Oh, is it this place? Oh, that's an apartment. 
Where could it be? City Hall? City Services. Ah. Let's go there. Alright, let's go get a job, people. What's the best job? I could do TP. Okay, good to know. NVEs to graphics pack. It's not right. It was nice riding with you, sir. Oh, I don't have to pull out the gun. Tracks or truck driver? Graphics pack is NVE. So do I talk to this guy? Open city hall. Okay. Employment. You can be a news reporter, garbage collector, bus driver, taxi, trucker, hot dog stand, or tow truck. Okay. What is so trash or truck driver is better pay? What would you recommend me doing on the stream? What would be the best to do on the stream? Maybe, is bus driver working with like AI? Tow truck? Okay, so is this working with like AI? Do you need other players on or can you just do it with AI? Oh, it works with AI, okay. We'll start with tow truck then. All right. We're a tow truck driver. Now do we have to go to like, do we have to go to like a tow truck Apartment area? Flatbed. I would assume this is where we go. The towing yard. Alright. We'll go to the we'll go to the yard with our dead guy in the car. Wait, I didn't want to try robbing a car. Hold on. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So it takes time. Hardjacking failed, hey! Oh boy. Okay, so you're, so the police get notified anytime you break the law? Same with gunfire. Interesting. Well, that's cool to know. So anytime somebody Somebody uses that, they get notified. All right, that's awesome. Pretty cool. So you can really just like set this up and then immediately get started. You don't have to actually do anything. Well, that's pretty cool. If you really just want to start a server, you don't have to really do anything. Maybe we'll install that in a minute. The resource that'll let you do that. I think I went one yard over. Do I spawn something here? Do I have to go inside? Oh boy. How do I spawn a tow truck? Oh, right here. I'd assume. There we go. Flatbed. All right. I had to pay $250. I want to rip off. Okay. So now, I would assume I go to the car icons. No, that's driving school. So how would I, oh, the tow icon. No, that's the impound lot. Go to F1 and start a mi mission. Oh, work. Tow vehicle. Or is it work toggle NPC? How do I start a mission? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. Follow the blue line, got it. 
All right, let's go. Hey, Foxsmith official. If you aren't active, well, I hope you feel better. All right, so we're gonna drive and go pick this up. Interesting. I think the city's having a little trouble on my recording software at the moment. So I do apologize for the little bit of staggering. I'm gonna change it to daytime. Can I change it to daytime? There we go. Hopefully it's a little bit more stable now. I didn't see him there. Sorry, dude. Oh, I see there's, there's a car parked there. So I see my backup. Do I have to get out? Oh, F1 and then tow. Oh, I didn't even have to get out. F1. Work. Tow. This is not the right vehicle. What? Do I have to line up better? Stand next to the car. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, so that's a good point um, that anytime you add scripts to QB Core, make sure to read the readme because it's very important. And now take it back to the inbound lot. All right. Let's go. So I guess most people who use QB core, most, most people are civs then. And then you probably have like a whitelisted police department. I would assume. We added a script and the amount of time it takes on some of them are unreal and it's easy to mess up, like making a back, backup first. Okay. So the police job's whitelisted. Got it. You have a lot of opportunities with QB core, it seems. I mean, you got a bunch of stuff built in. And then we're going to take a look at scripts in a minute that we can add in. It seems like I, I, I see why a lot of people like it. I do see that. Okay. So where do we drop it? We drop it over here. Or do I need to like put it inside that red line? Okay. So then I would assume I go to tow vehicle. Yeah. Remove the vehicle. All right. Vehicle taken off. So is that done? Am I done with the job now? Did I do it? I'm just going to leave this here. Oh, I see. It kind of flipped over back there. All right. Cool first job, though. Oh, boy. Oh, so you, you can click and it shows your info depending on what's in your inventory now you have to return it to put your money back what do you mean my truck return my truck ah, i see i see thank you 
cool though. That's a fast open door. Pretty cool. All right, anything else I should look at in the default game before we go and try to find some resources to install with it? I used to be good at this no crosshair thing. So I wonder if I shoot the window out, can I then rob it? See, that doesn't make sense. I should be able to rob it then. <laughs> All right. Is the gaming a little everybody else? Anything else I want to take a look at? Pilot Two Sim says I use a tow script for the tow job, makes it much more realistic. I can see where you should be able to do that. Slash give item to lock pick one. All right, we'll do that. I'll try to steal this junker car over here. Do I have to have the lock pick out? Can I like replace it with my driver's license? Oh. How does this work? Oh. I brought I broke it. Drag to use. Oh, it broke. <laughs> Can I give myself ten mock fix, please? So just drag to use. So you just like click. Or you like turn it. I'm so confused on how you're supposed to use this. Do you use anything? It's <laughs> so confused. Just drag. I I don't know what to drag. It's just a HTML thing. Cause I press I press A and it twists it. A and D twist it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I can see why it breaks a lot. Oh, you have to search for the car keys? Really? Oh, boy. So do the police get notified about this? Or do they only get notified? They do get notified if you're lock picking a car. They must have some advanced systems. You failed to find the keys. My luck today. My God, I'm having some bad luck. I can't find the keys. It's a probability thing. Great. Can I just keep searching? Hey, I got the keys. Can you make a video on making server-side sirens with any type of siren pack? I have plans for it. Um, the only problem is, is I'm going on vacation in technically tomorrow. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to get around to it. It may happen on the two days I'm back before my Christmas break. Um, but I'm planning on getting some videos out for that. Um, but we did do a video on the new uh, LVC, which you can go check out. And they do have documentation on server-side sirens if you want to use it. I didn't cover it, but they do they do have documentation on it, which is pretty well made. Okay. So I think we've discovered the base of QB Core in-game. So why don't we go ahead and park our vehicle here? And then why don't we go ahead and take a look at the 5M forums? And look for some QB Core resources we can try to install. So, let's see. I guess I could search by QB Core. I can. I 
And I will also search by free. We're not going to spend money today. Can I not search by multiple? I really can't search by multiple? Really? Hi, man. Now I lost EV car. Where did it go? Oh, boy. How do I reset? I want QB core. I got QB city too. Awesome. You'll find more in the QB discord versus the forum. Good to know. So for server side sirens, from my understanding, it uses the WAV files. Um, so anything that kind of gives you those files should work. Hi, Foxy. All right, let's try to find a free QB core. If anybody has any examples, <laughs> I would love to check it out. I don't know which one to do. Why is this the last stream for a while? Because I will be out of town. I will probably stream once or twice in December. So I'll take a moment while everybody lets me know what resources I could cover for QB Core for free here. But I will be, um, I'm, I'm leaving town tomorrow and I won't be back till December 2nd. And then I'm only here until December 4th. And then I leave town again and I only come back up for two days for finals. And then I leave town till January 7th. So this is going to be the final stream for a little while. I'll do one in December, most likely. And then uh, I won't stream again until January. Videos, I have a couple pre-recorded. I'm going to keep anything I record on a external drive so I can download and edit it remotely. But theoretically, we could have one video a week until I return. I am going to LA. I'm up at school right now, up in the Bay Area. And I'm just going to fly down to LA. Hang out with family. Just added 200 cars. Awesome. There is a lot of paid scripts I see here. Harness system. Let's see what this is. about. Harnesses on vehicles. Cool. That looks cool. Can you help me find the best inventory 5MES ESX and install it? We're actually working on QB Core today, which has a built-in inventory. I would assume that ESX has a built-in inventory as well by default. I would assume it does. SW Shoplift. Ah, I see, I see, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I just wish you knew. They do, but it's a bad one. There's probably a bunch of add-ons for it, theoretically. So do we have Q target? Is that something we already have installed or do we have to install that ourselves as an add-on? We already have it installed. Okay. Okay. So should I just install it into the QB folder? Or should I just make it separate? What's the best way of doing it? I know how I do it on standalone, but I don't know how people do it here. What's the way everybody does it? I don't want to follow your lead. So people watching this back can understand how they do it. You just make another folder. Okay. I'll do that. I will do that. 
Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the dash main though. Thanks, GitHub, for adding that. So there's a config.lula. So in here, we have an alert cooldown, police alert chance. I just wish you knew. Police night alert chance. Cooldown, chance. What weapon should the NPC have? Cool, cool. You can either get a sandwich, water bottle. Oh, so these are like the item names that it will add to your inventory. Awesome. Yeah, okay. And I would assume, please don't leak my keys. Thank you. I can just add a shirt custom. Awesome. And then I'm going to refresh in game. Watch this crack everything. All right. There we go. So theoretically, it started that resource, so I should be able to go to a store and shoplift now. So let's go to a store. I have a couple of paid QB core scripts. I'm not going to look at any paid scripts today just because I don't want to break any TOSs across the board. Um, so maybe next time. But unless the author uh, does anything, I don't want to, or gives permission, I don't want to um, get into that at, at all. But thanks for the offer. All right, let's go shoplift. Why did everything get all blurry all of a sudden? What was that? Interesting. All right. So we're almost up there. I think I'm getting thirsty or hungry or something, or my lungs hurt. I can't tell what that is, what that icon is. It's so small. Okay, we're here. Now we can go in and try to shoplift. Stress, ah, oh, that's stress, okay. So how do I shoplift? What would be the button to shoplift? Did they say on the form thread? No. Third eye. Oh, is that the alt thing? Oh. I don't like that. I don't like that system. They may do it in a certain area only. I'm supposed to be able to see something, right? Check the config for cords. Oh, there are. Um, I'm like, can I copy these and like just teleport to them in game? Don't exactly know where this is. Three seven five. Oh yeah, this isn't one of the stories that is pre-made. Slash TP without the comma. All right. Negative one three. All right. Left alt. Oh, there we go. Shop lift. Thank you. All right, so we're shop lifting. Oh, we got a water bottle. So I guess I can just do it over and over again. Oh, you have recently. So that's the cooldown. All right. So can you rob these guys? No, you can't. Okay. Good to know. Can you make resident RPF files server side? I don't believe you can. That's client. This can all be added to a dispatch uh, script to make it more customizable. Awesome. That's really cool. I would like to do one successful carjacking.
Oh, come on. Can I do it again? Get out of your car. I have failed at every single carjacking I've tried today. Lesson learned, if I'm ever playing on a QB core server, I will just kill everybody because it seems like that's the way to get their car. But yeah, <laughs> it does look like I succeeded. I did get the car, I admit. But it's pretty cool. I like it. Let's go check out the clothing store. Oh, it's back there. <laughs> well, this car's kind of stuck now. So I guess you can just use the money you um, made to buy clothes. I have a gun out. <laughs> Clothing shop, pressy. Oh yeah, so now you can just model and update it. And I have an undershirt. I'm this character. We're gonna have him no hands. There you go, dude. No hand, dude. No arm, dude. Clothing store doesn't charge by default. Okay, we can add a resource to make it charge. Cool. Is there anything we can do at the hospital? Is there any other places we could go to explore? This car's stuck. All right, time to go get another car. So yeah, my vision is getting blurry. So I assume I can just use the grilled cheese sandwich. Yes, I can. So I'm going to eat it. Check the police job. Okay, we can do the police job. Oh, God. This lock picking thing. I know what this reminds me of. This lock picking thing makes reminds me of Ticketmaster yesterday. It's just the pain, the pain and suffering. All right, I have set my job. Did anyone else try to get tickets yesterday for Ticketmaster? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, but. I did not get tickets. I was 12,000th in queue after clicking it. Hey, I finally carjacked someone. All right. Yeah, I think the whole world heard about it. And the fact that I was doing a concert like that has like LA, so it had like seven shows and I still couldn't get it. It was ridiculous. I tried to try to get on Friday though. All right. So I guess I just walk in here to be a police officer. What's that? Oh, you can lock the door. I see. I got good luck for uh, Billie Eilish's concert. I'm going to see her for the second time in um, literally the second week of December an hour. I did not get good luck for Taylor Swift. Though. So where do I go in here? Locker room. Okay. Can I not go in? Oh, that's the garage. That's cells. So the locker room's upstairs, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Ticketmaster, they're, they have problems. They need to be redone, in my opinion. There's something we need to go in here. Do we have to do something? Clothing. Ooh, I saw clothing. Oh, you have to stand in front of the mirror. Short sleeve. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. My vision keeps going blind. I don't know why. <laughs> Do I need to drink some water or something? I can't. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. We have our uniform on. Now I go to the armory, I guess. See, this is the door I would lock. Enter locker. Oh, uh, so you have like a locker here. Too slack revive. I'm too stressed. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So do I need to grab gun? Can I grab gun? Oh, it's third eye. Oh, third eye. Oh boy. I pressed something and now I have my hands up. I don't know what I did. Back at where I was. I don't see any third eye thing. Oh, X is hands up. Okay. No third eye. At the very back, but press X. Nothing happening for that. It will turn blue at the very, very back. I'm all the way at the back. There's no eye turning blue. Maybe missing a resource? Oh. How do I go on duty? That would probably be why. How would I go on duty? Front counter. Third eye, the counter. Nothing on the counter either. Back PC. Maybe this room? I think I set my job. I set it to police. Because if I do slack job... Shows that I'm law enforcement. And let me get a uniform on. Oh, back PC at the front counter. Ah, E, go on duty. We're now on duty. Okay. Maybe I can go get a weapon now? If I do this, it's still enter locker. Armory. There we go. I don't need a phone, right? Did I not take that? Won't let me take it. Oh, I have to right click. Okay. Cool. I need a radio. Can I give you a sandwich? 
<laughs> How do I get a sandwich? So let me eat a sandwich. And then I can use my radio. Yeah, I want to try the radio. Alright. Let's eat an armory. That's a gun. The armory is not open now. There we go. I'd like the radio, please. There we go. Got a radio. So how do I use the radio? Do I just put down the radio? Oh, shoot. I don't want to put down the radio. I'll drop my driver's license. Put the radio there. Okay, radio's number two. Okay, how do I use it? Drag to number. Oh. You can see one. Okay. I've joined the channel. Okay. What do I do with this now? I like how I'm holding that rifle. Oh. Can you, how do you talk over the radio though? Left alt. Oh yeah. Okay. So you talk over the radio. That's pretty cool. I think I'll test that. Put away the radio. Put away everything, dude. I would like to load up my gun. How do I load the gun without, like, getting it in my hotbar? I can do that for the... Oh, you have to have the gun in your hand. Okay. No, oh, that's not the gun. Pull out the gun. Use the ammo. Ah, thank you. That does work. All right. Can I do anything with the NPCs with the police job? Or is it only for... Is it only for normal players? So it's only for normal players? All right. Can I spawn a car at least? Very dark in here. F6 will bring up the job menu. Or F1. I think it's F1. Oh yeah, okay, work. Please action. Oh, that's cool. Emergency button. Oh, the grog is upstairs to the left. Over here? Oh, never mind. I see over there. Cool. So I, I know what's lagging my game now. Um, it's actually the F1 menu. Which is stupid, but it's something to do with uh, X split and 5M. Is this the garage? I can't spawn anything there, but... But it's so hard to see where you're aiming with this thing. So is that supposed to be where the garage is? Oh, 
I don't know. I'm not going to worry about the garage. Pretty cool, though. That's true. Can you carjack someone as the cop? Yes, you can. All right, cool. We got ourselves a car. An unconventional means of getting a car. That would get you fired in real life, but we got ourselves a car. Oh, so I see on the map, is that red circle the officer down? Yeah, the red circle is the officer literally down. Oh. I left the channel when I hit the car. Well, that's kind of expected. But overall, it's a pretty cool uh, core. I like it. I think that it could be a little bit more user friendly. But other than that, um, it seems pretty cool. I like it. Does everybody just pull out a phone? <laughs> Got a paycheck of $150. Awesome. Seems like all the NPCs love pulling out phones. Once you get used to it, it's easy. Yeah, I could see that. I could see because every server, if every server uses it, you, you would get it would become easy. I could see that. So this is the MPZ guy. Okay, good to know. Let's try the bus driver. So I would assume if I make a waypoint to the bus depot, someone said I could use slash TP. TP marker. Ah, there we go. Bus stop. Let's spawn a standard bus. Go to the bus stop. All right. Giving me control of a bus is a terrible idea. Clearly, because I just already ran over someone. So I'm here. What do I do? Do I do like F1? Vehicle door? <laughs> what do I do? Do I have to like pull up to the thing? Push you out of the way a little bit. Press E. Ah, I see. So no one do the NPCs actually get on your on your bus though? Or did I just scare them all away? I may have scared them all away. Yeah, I scared them more. All right. Oh, smart car dead. Oh, rip. Rip that smart car. Don't pull out in front of a bus, even if you have the right of way. Oh, he's on right now? I don't see anybody on the bus, but we'll see. All right. Now I know what to do. I'm honking. It's not. Oh, person was dropped off. I see. So can you actually see them on the bus? I don't think you can, right? All right, we'll do one more stop. It's a pretty cool resource, though. Or core, I guess. Or a particular name. I see why a lot of people use it, and I see why a lot of people use it to sell scripts as well. Ow.
I'm not the best driver, clearly, here. In real life, I'm fine. Here, not so much. Okay, so does the stop randomize every time depending on where the people want to go, or is it always the same route? That's a good question. This is all, all we're using is the default resources that come with QB core. So I have no idea what the HUDs are. You can convert ESX scripts to QB core and backwards too. Well, that's really good. I'm still not the biggest fan of these core resources, but I know a lot of people are. So is this person going to get on my bus? Pressing E, bus. Oh, there we go. So it seems like there needs to be a little bit of a more animation or like countdown of this bus route. Like when people actually end up getting on. Pretty cool though. See, that time it did it. That time it gave me the UI, but sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, this is not ESX. This is all Kiwi. I'll do an ESX stream at some point, though. That's pretty cool. I like it. I don't think I would use it myself on a server. I like standalone resources, but I see why everybody likes it, and I see why a lot of people want to use it. It's pretty cool for easy setups. Dude, this one isn't giving me the UI either. There we go. So you have to stop kind of pull way forward for it. All right, we'll do the final bus stop here. But it is pretty cool. Oh my God. Don't let me crash. Oh, there goes the light. But I assume this is the end of the line considering it's back at the first stop we were at. I'm gonna assume it just restarts now. I'm gonna end the line smashing into a smart car just like I started the line. Yeah, you have to pull kind of halfway in. Very cool, though. I like it. Very cool. Well, while you run off to your service calls, I'm going to end the live stream anyway. I got to go pick up some books on campus um, and try to get the rest of my day going. But thank you, everybody, for hanging around, toggling around, checking out QB Core. It's a very cool resource very cool system um if you have any suggestions for videos or stuff let me know down in the comments of uh last week's video or yesterday's video whenever it came out lvc but um have a great rest of your day everyone and thanks for hanging out so i'll see you in the next one whatever that may be depending on my vacation so see you all at a later time have fun for the rest of your